A global catalog is a partial, read-only, searchable copy of all the objects in the forest. It speeds up searches for objects that might be stored on domain controllers in a different domain in the forest. Within a single domain, the ADDS database on each domain controller contains all the information about every object in that domain. However, only a subset of this information replicates on the global catalog servers in other domains in the forest. Within a domain, a query for an object is directed to one of the domain controllers in that domain, but that query does not include results about objects in other domains in the forest. For a query to include results from other domains in the forest, you must query a domain controller that is a global catalog server. By default, the first domain controller in the forest root domain is the only hosted global catalog server. To enhance searching across domains in a forest, you should configure additional domain controllers to each store a copy of the global catalog. The global catalog does not contain all the attributes for each object. Instead, the global catalog maintains the subset of attributes that are most likely to be useful in cross-domain searches. These attributes include given name, display name, and mail. You can modify the set of attributes replicated to the global catalog by modifying the partial attribute set, PAS, in the schema. Searching against a global catalog can be useful in many situations. For example, when a server that is running Exchange Server receives an incoming email, it needs to search for the recipient's account so that it can decide how to route the message. By automatically querying a global catalog, the server can locate the recipient in a multiple domain environment. In addition, when users sign into their Active Directory accounts, the domain controller that performs the authentication must contact a global catalog to check for universal group memberships before authenticating the users. In a single domain, you should configure all the domain controllers to hold a copy of the global catalog. However, in a multiple domain environment, the infrastructure master should not be a global catalog server unless all the domain controllers in the domain are also global catalog servers. When you have multiple sites, you should also make at least one domain controller at each site a global catalog server, so that you are not dependent on other sites when you require global catalog queries. Deciding which domain controllers to configure to hold a copy of the global catalog depends on replication traffic and network bandwidth. Many organizations opt to make every domain controller a global catalog server.